If the intercontinental ballistic missile is the spear of the offensive, then the mid-course anti-missile is the shield of the defense. In the age of nuclear weapons, a country must not only have a spear to deter the enemy, but also a shield to protect itself. The website of the Chinese Ministry of National Defense had announced that China conducted a land-based mid-course anti-missile interception technology test, and the test achieved the expected purpose. China claimed that this test is defensive and does not target any country. China is one of the only two countries in the world with mid-course anti-missile technology, and the only country that has maintained a 100% victory record in mid-course anti-missile tests, including this test. All six anti-missile tests conducted by China in the past 12 years have been successful. In contrast, the United States has conducted 20 mid-course anti-missile tests, nine of which failed with a success rate of only 55%. The reason why China can achieve excellent results in the field of anti-missile is closely related to China's advanced missile technology. If the armies of various countries are compared to a sword, then Russia's sword is made of tanks, the United States' sword is made of aircraft carriers, and China's sword is made of countless missiles. Chinese missiles are the equivalent of Russian tanks and American aircraft carriers. So, what is the ground-based mid-course anti-missile interception technology? How difficult is it to develop? What is the significance? Besides, who is more advanced in anti-missile technology, China or the United States? Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. First, let's take a look at who is more advanced in anti-missile technology, China or the United States. As we have mentioned at the beginning of the video that China is the only country that has maintained a 100% victory record in mid-course anti-missile tests, and all six anti-missile tests conducted in the past 12 years have been successful. In contrast, the United States has conducted 20 mid-course anti-missile tests, nine of which failed, with a success rate of only 55%. Some people may say that the US has tested 20 times, and China can maintain a 100% success rate because the number of tests is small. Yes, China's trials are less than a third of what the US has done. But the mid-course anti-missile focus is on the quality of the test, not the quantity. The reason why the United States can conduct 20 anti-missile tests is because the previous test failed, and the United States needs to continue the test until it succeeds. For example, the United States has conducted six anti-missile tests since 2010, and the interceptors used are all enhanced exoatmospheric interceptors. All the first three tests failed. After each failure, researchers will make improvements, and finally succeeded in the last three trials. If the US experiment was successful in the first place, the number of trials would be cut by at least half. In contrast, China's first test was successful, and subsequent development can focus on improving performance. However, although the mid-course anti-missile missile is harmless, it does not mean that no country will be provoked by it. Maybe it's like installing a security door in your home. Neighbors and passers-by won't care if you change the door. Only thieves will curse when they see it. Let's see who reacted most strongly to the news of China's successful mid-course missile defense and see who the thief is. So, what is ground-based mid-course anti-missile interception technology? Well, it is a defense system that detect and track enemy ballistic missiles from land-based launch platforms, and then launch interceptors to intercept enemy ballistic missiles when they are in the mid-course flight stage. The mid-flight of a ballistic missile is the stage of inertial flight outside the atmosphere after the engine of the guided missile is turned off. At this time, its trajectory is relatively stable and fixed. After the anti-missile system calculates its trajectory, it can accurately guide the interceptor missile to conduct one or more interceptions. The flight of ballistic missiles is divided into three stages, namely rising stage, middle stage, and end stage. Anti-missile interception technology is mainly aimed at intercepting these three different flight stages. At present, the relatively mature anti-missile systems mainly focus on the interception of the middle and final stages.
So, how difficult is the land-based mid-course anti-missile interception technology? During the flight of the missile, it has three stages. The first stage is the ascent stage, that is, the rocket is about to shoot out of the atmosphere, so this is called the boost stage. Then the middle section is because after flying out of the atmosphere, the air outside the atmosphere is very thin, and the flight speed of the missile is very fast at this time, so this section is called the middle section. If it hit the target on the Earth, it has to re-enter the atmosphere, this is called the end stage. Because the mid-course velocity is so high, and the interceptor has to have kinetic impact, that is, the interceptor has to collide with the warhead of the ICBM, so it's very difficult. Moreover, this interception method must first be identified, that is, you must have a radar to identify the incoming warhead launched, and also determine its trajectory and speed, that is, the source of assistance, and then track it, and then launch, the interceptor bombards it with this kinetic energy, so it is very difficult. At the beginning of this century, China's anti-missile technology research entered a new stage, and the scientific research team broke through a number of key technologies. In January 2010, China successfully conducted the first land-based mid-course anti-missile interception test, and in January 2013, China's second land-based mid-course anti-missile interception test was again successful. Since then, China has conducted several interception tests with success. At present, countries around the world are building anti-missile defense capabilities. What is the significance of China's development of land-based mid-course anti-missile interception technology? The mid-course interception test was very successful. Its significance lies in greatly improving China's anti-missile capability and maintaining national defense security. China has made it clear that it will not use nuclear weapons in non-nuclear countries and regions. But what if someone provokes China? With the mid-course anti-missile interception technology, early warning and interception of incoming missiles can be carried out. Therefore, its significance is that China's ability to intercept strategic missiles such as nuclear weapons has been greatly improved. All in all, if a country wants to have land-based mid-course anti-missile technology, it must have ballistic missile early warning capabilities on platforms such as sea, land, and air, and it can also eliminate various interference factors in a complex environment and quickly, and accurately identify real incoming targets. In addition, the ability to accurately track is also essential. It is necessary to master technologies such as global satellite positioning, radar tracking, and infrared tracking to accurately lock on supersonic targets. Also, ballistic missile warheads are usually very strong to prevent burnout due to high temperatures. Therefore, the interceptor must have enough kinetic energy to destroy the target, which requires high design and attitude control of the interceptor. So we can know, it is very excellent that China's five land-based mid-course missile defenses have all been successful. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. We will see you in the next video.